Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you for coming. I wanted to do a quick overview. Yesterday, I had a great question. What's the difference between all of this stuff? I'm a newbie and I don't know. And so I just jotted them down and I'm going to go through them really quickly so that if you are unsure or you just don't know, that way you don't have to guess. There's no reason. So the first thing is an emergency reading. I used to have a woman that I loved and I talked to her once or twice a month. Like it was weekly and then it was every other week. And when I first met her, I wanted to talk to her right then. Something was going on in my life and I had an emergency and she didn't have this option. What it means is like, stop everything you're doing. I need to talk to you right now. This is out of control. My life feels crazy. So that's what an emergency reading is. That's like a psychic reading. Because I'm psychic and clairvoyant and a medium, I see things on a, on a just a broader scale. It's just, plus I'm not involved. You know, when it's your own life, things feel like, ah. The next one is a past life regression. I absolutely highly recommend and love past life regressions. What they are, it's about two hours. You'll be in a meditative state that I'll walk you through a meditation. You'll have complete control. You can wake up anytime. That's no problem at all. And we will set the intention to see past lives that will give you meaning for this life. Why am I afraid of water? Why am I afraid of being in a closed space? And then when we get to the end of that, we ask your subconscious, spirit, team, angels, however it's comfortable for you, what's going on health-wise? Are you on the right track? Why are you here? Those kinds of questions. And then you will get the recording. It takes about three to seven days to integrate. I've heard it from every, like a huge range. And then you walk away with clear answers and understanding and it's fun. That's my favorite reading ever. I love them. The next one is a quantum healing session. So in the quantum, this is something like um, the quantum field in science is the idea that energy travels. You don't have to speak to feel things or to understand them. If you've ever walked into a room and you can feel the energy's off or someone sits next to you and it just doesn't feel right, that's the quantum. Because we're in the 3D matrix and we signed up for it and we're loving having a human experience, we are all trained, part of the matrix, that we just have like our eyes and ears and touch. We have five senses, but we really have six. And the sixth is the feeling. Feeling is very important. Listen to your inner guidance. Like if you listen to your intuition, if your stomach feels bad or gross or it hurts after you speak with someone, why? Stop and ask yourself why. So when we do um, a quantum healing session, this is also in a meditative state, same idea, can be. And I go into your energy field with your permission. All of this is with your permission. I would never do it without your permission. And I scan your body. It's, I'm also a medical intuitive, so I can scan it. Wherever things are gray or it's not clear, we stop there and we do healing. We do whatever it needs to be done. And I ask for guides and guardians to help me. I, I'm just the messenger. I don't actually do anything. God does it all or Jesus or whoever you believe in does it. I'm just the channel. And that's the same with a, I don't know if I have um, a mediumship reading. I can communicate with the other side. I've been able, it's, I've been able to do it my whole life. So if you've lost someone that you love or you, what do you need closure? You need answers. You need X, Y, and Z then that is a perfect reading, is a psychic mediumship reading. Then we have 
uh, mini past life regression. That's with Oracle cards. It's 15 minutes. We don't actually ever talk. I just record it just like this and tell you what your cards are saying about your past life. It's not a regression. It's a quick fix. I would say there's no healing or anything. It's just if you're curious and I love it. The next one is dream analysis. I also, we all have this too, by the way. It's just where you are in your journey. If you've cleaned out all the old business to make room for the new, that's how it comes in clear. You practice too. It's just like anything. If you want to run a marathon, hopefully you don't get up today and go run. You practice a little bit each day and then it gets stronger and stronger. A dream analysis is I had a dream that I was falling off of a building and I don't know what that means. My life is out of control. Or I had a dream that I saw my grandma or something like that. Then I, I go into a meditative state, same kind of thing. You can type it up or we can talk. And then I get those answers and send it back to you. So that's the main difference between it all. It's all the quantum field is the knowing. You know when you just know? You just know. Like if you say something and you know your mom's going to be mad or your boss isn't going to like it, that's the knowing. And there's tons of science to back it up. Dr. Joe Dispenza is a great resource. And I have certifications and qualifications for all of it. I've been doing it forever. I just didn't tell everyone. <laughs> so that's kind of in a rough overview, a quick overview of what everything is. If you have any other questions or ideas or anything, just let me know. Shoot me an email and we'll work together and we'll figure something out. So I hope that helps. Love you. Can't wait to see you.